Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at evaluating functions. So we have if f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and g of x is equal to x squared plus 3x, we want to find the value of f of 3 minus g of negative 4. So the first thing we should do is just break this down piece by piece. The first function we're looking at is f of x. So we could write down f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. But now once we have this, for this problem, what we want to find is we're looking to evaluate f of 3. So think of the function as a machine. And right now we're going to plug 3 into the machine. So anytime we see an x, we're replacing it with 3. So to the right of the equal sign, even though it may seem excessive, anytime you see an x, replace it with blank parentheses. So notice instead of 2x plus 1, we have 2 times blank plus 1. So now we could just plug 3 in wherever we see a blank. For the next line, we have f of 3 is equal to, and we have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1. So the value of f at 3 is equal to 7. So we're going to need this information. We're going to come back to it after we evaluate the function g. So next, we're looking at the function g of x. And we know that the function g of x is equal to x squared plus 3x. But just like before, what we want to do is, anytime we see an x, we're now going to replace it with negative 4. So we go to the right of the equal sign, and anytime we see an x, what we want to do is, we're going to write a blank pair of parentheses. So notice how we set this up. That we write blank squared plus 3 times blank. So now all we have to do is write a negative 4 wherever we see a blank. Now the reason why the parentheses are so important, I promise you a lot of students will mix this up, even when they use a calculator, is if you type this into a calculator, negative 4 squared without parentheses, this is not going to be equal to parentheses negative 4 squared. If you simplify this, this will reduce to negative 16 while the right hand side will reduce to positive 16. So that's why they're not equal and you want to be careful and just make your life easier. Put parentheses there. So we continue to simplify. Now we have g of negative 4 is equal to negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 and we have plus 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So for the next line, all we're doing, g of negative 4 is equal to, well think of 16 plus negative 12 as 16 minus 12, and 16 minus 12 is equal to 4. So now we have enough information to close this problem out. So we look at what the question was asking us to find. They wanted us to evaluate f of 3 minus g of negative 4. So we write this out, we're looking for f of 3 minus g of negative 4, and all we have to do is directly substitute. Notice this entire problem was just a fancy way of substituting into an algebraic expression. So at this step, instead of f of 3, we know f of 3 is equal to 7. So we're going to evaluate 7 minus, and we have g of negative 4 is equal to 4. So we're going to replace g of negative 4 with 4. So the final answer to this problem, we have f of 3 minus g of negative 4 is equal to, and 7 minus 4 simplifies to 3. So the final answer to this problem is going to be 3. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on evaluating functions. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.